My name is Gilbert Smith. We have Victory MMA. My name is Joe. I've been doing this for about two and a half years. Hi, my name is Justin Campos. I've been fighting roughly about 12 years on and off. My name's Chris. I started training about two years ago here at Victory and just kind of from day one just fell in love. A little bit about me. Most people know me because I was an ultimate fighter. I did two seasons, season 17 with John Jones and Joe Sonnen. I did season 25 with TJ Dillashaw and Cody Galbraith. I fought Bellator, R RFA, UFC, all over. Um, I'm a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And um, I've been doing this for a very long time as far as being a coach and running Victory MMA. Great culture, great environment and people. And uh, yeah, just needed an outlet outside of my job where I fly a desk and needed to be physical, be around other people, get out of my own house. And uh, Victory's been the spot and uh, addicted. So the person that Victor MMA to be a part of the team at gym, it's really anybody. Anybody that's looking to challenge themselves, anybody that's looking to uh, get out their comfort zone, anybody that's looking to mentally, physically, and sometimes emotionally just progress. Our goal is to teach everybody how to defend themselves, and once again, maybe one day compete. So you could be any size, you could be any skill level, any gender, it doesn't really matter. As long as you're willing to come in with an open mind, and willing to challenge yourself and train hard, we want you. You have to work hard. You're surrounded by people who are putting everything they got into something. You're surrounded by people who will laugh while they're failing, who will laugh while they're succeeding. It is about camaraderie. I think my favorite thing about training up here has just gotta be that you see yourself very, very incrementally get better. Um, I just recently looked back at some pictures and some videos of myself two years ago and was like, wow, that doesn't even look like me. Uh, and, and just, I think in general, you start to see yourself grow mentally, physically, emotionally um, in the sport, but also just as a person. Uh, and so, yeah, I mean, I think that that's one of my favorite things. If you are interested in mixed martial arts, be it boxing, jiu-jitsu, kickboxing, or wrestling, you know, my, my advice is just come and try it. I know sometimes people could be on the fence. You don't really know what to expect. I remember my first day, the scariest thing is to walk through the door. But after I walked through that door, I was addicted. So I would just advise, just come try it. With that said, we do have a lot of videos we have online from my Instagram page for, to our YouTube page that you give you a really good insight of what happens at this gym. The training partners, you're not gonna find anybody here who's going to beat you up. It's not gonna be like an average jiu-jitsu gym where they have the mat enforcer, usually a purple or a brown belt, who just wants to pick on all the white belts, right? Every person you go with is going to try to get you better and help you out with specific things. The culture of Victory is, is really one where you can grow in a safe environment. Uh, so like, I know I'm gonna be pushed, I know I'm gonna be um, you know, growing every day, but I'm not worried that I have training partners that are gonna hurt me. I'm not um, you know, worried that I'm gonna have a coach that's telling me things that are gonna end up getting me hurt uh, in the long run. Like, I have a full-time job and so I can't really afford to be out for a long time. Uh, and Victory definitely takes that into, into account. But aside from just being safe, I mean, it's just an environment where everybody's positive. Everybody wants to grow each other, regardless of what that goal is for the individual. I connect with the people here. We're all very like-minded. Some people would say, oh, well, you train jujitsu here. You'll train somewhere else jujitsu and you'll be very like-minded and you'll connect. Not really. Uh, the people here understand my shenanigans, my sense of humor. Uh, they also work hard like me. I remember my first fight here um, up in Denver, which is quite a bit of a drive, um, the amount of support that showed up for that fight was tremendous because it had been about two years since I fought. It was my first fight in such a long time. And to have 40 people showing up with all victory gear and have that feeling of the crowd like going for you and cheering when your name's called and cheering when it's announced. I haven't had that feeling since 2010 in college when I played in front of 40,000 people. Some of the common questions I get is, number one, I'm super new. Are you accepting new people? Of course. That is what I really pride myself on, taking someone who's really, really new and making them proficient. Second question I get, 
do you do you guys actually fight? Do y'all like have a fight team? Do you, yes, we do competitions, although that's not mandatory. A lot of our members just come and train for fun, to stay fit, and to learn self-defense. Some actually want to go out and, and compete. That's a personal choice. The other thing to ask, what type of gear do I need to start out with? Honestly, if it was like your first week, you're doing the trial week, you don't really need any gear. Just come with some athletic clothes, we take care of you. Once you decide to sign up, we will work on getting the gear that you need. We have everything in the house that you can buy so you don't have to worry about anything. And the, and the other piece, if you're worried about injuries, right? And I think that's a very big thing, which makes a lot of sense because this is a contact sport. However, our number one rule is take care of your training partner. And what that means is that you gotta check your ego at the door. We gotta make sure that when you come to this gym, you are safe. I get it. Most people at this gym got a job to go to. So we can't be beating each other up, giving each other concussions, breaking each other's nose, hurting each other's arms, and you can't go to work the next day, or you can't even continue to train. That doesn't make sense. So we make sure we created a program that's safe, it does challenge you, but if you will go home feeling 100% and not too worried about, hey, I could have got injured. It doesn't matter which one you start off with, it's just the fact that you need to start. Once you start and you fall in love with the gym that you're at, and you fall in love with the people at your gym to motivate you to help train. I actually do have a good memory and it's because of another student who was taking pictures of us during our promotion ceremony. Coach Gilbert uh, is putting a stripe on my belt because I am a white belt, I'm still new at Jiu Jitsu, but this student captured the moment where I see him smiling, I see me smiling, and at that moment it, it captures both me and him being proud of what we both done. He's taught me, I've learned from him, he's um, recognizing me for what I've done up until that point and that's always a good memory. It's actually a picture that I keep in an album in my phone to remind myself that he works hard, I work hard and together we're accomplishing something where he's becoming a better teacher, I'm becoming a better student and we're just all helping each other be better. I think if you're struggling with like, is this for me? Can I actually do this? Is victory a good spot? Uh, man, I'd say just go for it. Uh, I think there's something for everybody to learn. Uh, I've been challenged and grown by the moms that train up here, by the pro fighters, by the amateurs and the younger guys that are uh, up and coming. Uh, just being around that environment in general, I think grows you as a person. Uh, but also, you're gonna be put in a spot where wherever you're starting, you're gonna grow. Uh, Cause Gilbert and the team make sure that that really is uh, what's happening in the culture. Uh, and so, yeah, I think wherever you're at, uh, whether you're a pro fighter and you're just looking to better yourself or whether you're just a hobbyist looking to better yourself, you're gonna get better just being up here. So just do it. Victory MMA is the best gym for me because it has everything that I need, right? You can't get good cage work without a cage. It has a boxing ring in case you wanna do boxing, kickboxing. It has a world-class wrestler and uh, in, in Coach Gilbert that will help you find your holes. He's a second-degree black belt, right? He promoted me to my purple belt whenever I needed it. Yeah, I mean, I guess one other thing that's been a big positive benefit of being up here at the gym is that, man, like, a lot of these guys that started out as training partners that we're moving awkwardly and don't know how to train and don't know if we, you know, we feel stupid how we're moving. Uh, man, we've grown together and a lot of those guys now are some of my like good friends. Uh, and so, man, I, I think if you're training at all, um, being around, especially in a combat sport that's so physical, you're gonna grow together uh, in a tight friendship in a family kind of environment. Uh, so man, just go for it. Hey, Colorado Springs. If you're looking for something that's gonna challenge you, and make you feel proud of what you are capable of, I would recommend coming to train at Victory MMA. It'll test your limits, both mental and physical, and it'll show you what you can truly do if you're willing to put in the work. So if you're watching this video and you start to get interested, I would tell you to contact me directly. The best way to contact me is shoot me a text, 719-231-4885. I answer all texts very quick. I can send you all the information. The second thing I would tell you to do, check out our social media. We have a lot of video, a lot of content. Sometimes some funny videos, sometimes some technique videos, sometimes some sparring and fight videos that you could really watch and learn from so you get a good feel and you get familiar with me and the team. And the third piece or the third thing you should do, come to the gym walk through the doors, look at the schedule, and see what the best time to come, which is really anywhere from 5 to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. So th those would be the top three things I would recommend for anybody that's interested.